Hi, everybody. Christina here of Christina Stapke RDN Virtual Nutrition Counseling, where I help my clients who are kind of dealing with some chronic health concerns or just not feeling good, I specifically focus on their digestive health just to kind of help address some underlying causes of why they're not feeling well. So in the last uh, handful of videos, I've been talking about my seven-step gut restoration protocol and kind of each step that's associated with that. And today we're gonna to be talking about step five, and that's um, re-inoculating or replenishing the gut with good bacteria and also helping to repair the, the gut or the digestive tract lining. So last video we talked about step four, which is identifying and addressing pathogens or bad bugs that could be present somewhere in your digestive tract that could be contributing to some symptoms that you're experiencing. It could be digestive related, but it could also be something that feels totally unrelated, like skin issues, insomnia, fatigue, brain fog, and some other like chronic common symptoms like that. Um, and so, so what what is step five? What is actually re replenishing and repairing? So, so once we kind of identify again what kinds of bad bacteria or kind of imbalances might be going on by doing some testing then we need to really help crowd out any bad guys that could still be present and really establish some good bacteria and kind of uh, some key regulator bacteria um, that can keep everything in balance. Because we can think about our digestive bacteria, and really what I'm referring to is mainly in our large intestine and colon for the most part, some in our small intestine small intestine and then other areas as well. But when I'm referring to this community, I'm mostly referring to, to that location. And so we can think of it like, like just a general community. So we need everything to be in balance. Um, and there can't be too much space for bad guys to come and take over. So if there's not enough good guys there to help crowd out the bad guys, that's when we can run into problems. So the re-inoculating and replenishing kind of piece of this is through a couple different steps. So one is taking probiotics. Um, it definitely depends and it, it makes a big difference uh, what kinds of probiotics you take given the symptoms that you're experiencing. Um, there's actually different strains of bacteria that are good for different things. Um, in general, I really like to use something called spore-based probiotics, but definitely something you still need to have tailored for you by a practitioner. But the spore-based are really cool because they're really well researched and they can get the levels of the good bacteria up. They can also help repair the gut lining as as well. Um, they can pr produce antioxidants and just kind of create an overall really good environment. So I like using those a ton with my clients. So that's one step, definitely. And then also other tailored probiotics. So get those in. And then we need to feed them so they can stay around because they're not going to want to hang out if they don't have any food, right? So what are some good foods for, for the good bacteria or the probiotics? Um, one thing, I mean, food first is always best. So things like um, mushrooms, apples, uh, artichoke, asparagus, um, you know, colors. So any kind of color from a fruit or vegetable, um, even things like green tea, like all these things can be food for good gut bacteria. And of course, you know, have this tailored for you by a practitioner. Some people, especially with a lot of digestive issues, can't tolerate those things. Um, but there are foods that can be a little bit better tolerated if like some of those for some of you are like, I can't even get near those. Um, so the food is really important. So probiotics, prebiotics to help re-inoculate and replenish those good gut bacteria. And then also we have um, the next step of repairing the gut lining. And this can be done at the same time. So repairing the gut lining is really important because if we have high levels of bad bacteria, that can really kind of damage the gut lining. Um, and also some other things like uh, toxins, for example, um, or if you're eating foods that your body is really not liking, um, like really typically inflammatory foods, like um, like if you're eating a ton of fast food or a ton of sugar or like a ton of caffeine, um, that can damage the gut lining a little bit. Um, also, if you're eating like extreme amounts of gluten and you are predisposed to being sensitive, um, that can be that can be a trigger as well. So we want to help repair that lining uh, to create a good environment for those good bacteria 
gut bacteria and also to help um, kind of reduce any other symptoms that can be associated with a damaged gut lining. Um, I think I discussed this in the food sensitivity video on step three, so go back and, and uh, listen to that one. But we always want to have a nice, uh, healthy gut lining because um, then we can run into something called leaky gut, otherwise known as increased intestinal permeability, which I'll probably go into in another um, video as well. So anyways, how do we repair the gut lining? So we can do that from um, reducing any foods you might be sensitive to or typically inflammatory type foods. Um, and then we can also use therapeutic foods as well. So um, Bone broth is a really popular and, and somewhat easy one, not something you necessarily want to go get from the store in a box. Um, in general, if you can make your own from organic bones, that's like the best thing you could possibly do or best option if you're willing to spend a little bit of time. Otherwise, you can go get some organic bone box bone broth in a frozen section in like a health food store or like a fresh section where basically they make it from scratch. Um, the, that bone broth has a lot of good amino acids. Um, it also has some collagen in it too. Those compounds can really help uh, just restore that gut lining. Um, also using therapeutic supplements in the short term. So things like um, zinc carnosine and immunoglobulins. These like don't just go out, go out and buy them on your own. Have them recommended to you by a practitioner, um, but those kinds of things can really be very helpful in helping kind of heal that up and restore the integrity of, of that digestive tract lining. So um, these are some really important steps. Really curious to hear any questions you guys have about this. Like, comment, share as always. Um, let me know your, your thoughts or, again, any questions I can answer. Of course, you can set up a call with me if you have any kind of more specific questions about what you're dealing with. Um, and then next week, we're going to go into step six, and that's reintroducing the healthy foods and the whole foods to get um, as diverse a diet in as possible to also really help feed those good gut bacteria. So I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody, and take care.